okay now let us just quickly revise the notations used in the entity relationship diagram okay we have a strong entity set described by a rectangle strong entity set then a weak entity set is described by double rectangle okay that would be my journal entry weak entity weak entity type okay attribute is described by an oval attribute okay a multi valued attribute is described by a double oval multi valued let's let's have a name here and multi valued would be phone number okay now we understood the concept of primary key so let's see how a primary key is mentioned primary key is mentioned with an underlined name okay so pan number is my primary key then we saw we have something called discriminators in a weak entity set so discriminator is mentioned with a dotted line so my discriminator is date and my discriminator is gift they both together form the discriminator discriminator okay then next we have a relationship a relationship is described via a diamond ons okay relationship and a weak relationship or rather an identifying relationship is described via a double diamond identifying relationship so the person writes journal entries okay now a total participation is described by double arrow okay so we have person on spec so this indicates total participation participation from person which means every person owns a pet okay and now we'll look at one to many and many to one kind of relationships and how we represent them anything which is on the one side is represented by an arrow okay so let's say we have a person here person owns a pet so this means this is one and this is n any side which has an arrow means it has a single participation and any side which doesn't have an arrow means it has multiple participation so this thing means one person own 